Today for reptile myths, I'm going to be talking about non-venomous snake bites. Okay, so firstly, something you probably know is getting bit by a venomous snake is usually going to possibly be either dangerous or painful, but today we're not talking about those. Uh, we're going to be talking about bites from non-venomous snakes. So, uh, Go Herpy and attends festivals and different things where I'll bring live animals uh, to show people and then people ask tons of questions, which is great. And one of those questions uh, is often, uh, is the snake I'm holding venomous? And I, of course, never handle venomous snakes. Um, but then after I tell them it's non-venomous, what they sometimes might ask is, even though it's non-venomous, because they have like germs and stuff uh, in their mouth, if you get bit by it, can it give you an infection? So this question makes sense because if you think about it, snakes live off of usually rodents and lizards and stuff uh, that will also often be disease ridden. So wouldn't it make sense that any germs from those animals get to that snake and then the bite from that snake can get into your bloodstream and possibly infect you? Uh, well, it actually doesn't really happen and it's extremely rare for this to happen. So some people are allergic to certain types of snakes, um, but this is also rare. Uh, most people are affected by like hognose snake bites. They're non-venomous, but they happen to have something in their saliva that uh, might irritate you. But those are the only exceptions. For any other non-venomous snake, you really don't have to worry about uh, any issues coming up from a bite, unless it's like a really big snake and there's more blood. So basically the main reason that a non-venomous snake bite won't affect you is because snake saliva contains an anticoagulant uh, which basically stops your blood from clotting. So if you cut your arm on something or just cut your skin somehow, uh, it'll start bleeding, but then your body will naturally kind of clot that blood to keep you from basically bleeding out. Uh, and then it'll heal and form a scab, uh, which will then eventually go away. Uh, but what the snake saliva does is it keeps your skin, from, or keeps your body from not creating those clots which means that you're gonna actually bleed a little more. So this might sound bad, but actually when you get bit uh, and then it bleeds a little extra, anything that was entering your bloodstream, it's gonna just bleed out uh, pretty quickly. Uh, it's still not that big of a deal, uh, as long as it's not too big of a snake, then you can just uh, tend to it like any other wound and just wrap it up or, uh, or whatever you need to do to stop the blood. There's also just about no cases of this happening you can look at people that just happen to get bit by non-venomous snakes all the time, one of which, like uh, Brian from Snake Bites, he's actually said this before, uh, that he's never been in, uh, been given an infection from a non-venomous snake. If you look pe at people like Steve Rowan, he was bit by non-venomous snakes all the time, he never had any problems with it. So it just simply isn't a problem with the way that the snakes are basically built to bite you. So yeah, this question has a pretty short answer, uh, so it fits in a pretty short video, but that's the easiest way to explain uh, why you're not going to be infected by non-venomous snake bite. Yeah, that's it for this episode of Reptile Myths. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.